Welcome to Microsoft Power Apps training videos. In this video, we'll discuss about Office 365 groups and uh, we'll discuss how to create Office 365 group and how to call that Office 365 groups into Microsoft Power Apps. And we'll try to display the users which are there inside that uh, uh, particular Office 365 group and uh, we'll try to filter that uh, data. And also what we'll do is, uh, we'll check the current logged in user into that specific uh, group or not. So for that, First, I'm going back to the office.com and in the office.com, um, I click this uh, app launcher. From the app launcher, we'll see this admin uh, um, option. From the admin option, uh, we can redirect to this Microsoft 365 admin center. Here we have users, we have teams and groups and we'll check how many active teams or groups are available in this tenant. Now you can able to see plenty we have and we'll try to create a new group when we click this add group option and the group type and I, I want to create this Microsoft 365 group and we have other options also like uh, you want to create any distribution list you can able to create and if you want to create any mail enabled security or a security group also you can able to create but this point of time we need this Microsoft 365 group we'll try to create that and I click next and uh, it is asking for the group name now this is for power app group and description is always optional if you want to enter you can or otherwise you can skip this one and click next and if you want to assign the owner so you can able to assign the owner I want to assign the support account and uh, click next and then I want to add the members as well now I have uh, so one is admin account I have and uh, I have a support account. I have other two accounts also over there, but I'm not going to add those and click add. Now we have two members also in this group. When I click next and uh, the, it is asking for the group email address as well. So now I'm just giving power app, power app. That, that would be enough. And here the privacy, which is a public group. So all the people can able to uh, view this uh, uh, if, if you if you have any site which is related to this and uh, those people can able to see and which is create going to create a team for this group yes you click next and uh, when you click this create group it will create so before that here we have a group type Microsoft 365 group which is and uh, uh, the name you can able to see description owners and members and settings also you can able to see from here now once we click create it will create a group for us so once it creates the group and we'll try to utilize that in the power apps which is created click close now this group is created here so you can able to see power app group now if you want to see this one in the azure active directory you can able to see that as well now I'll try to duplicate this one which is taking time okay now I'll open this Azure Active Directory if we go to the Azure Active Directory here also we can able to see the groups which are uh, uh, which we created so here we have this users and groups when we click this users and groups concept here uh, we have the users details but we cannot able to see the groups as well now we have created a group uh, but which is not appearing here so for that what we have to do is either I'll go back to the dashboard from the dashboard um, we have a find a group concept so when you click that find a group you can able to see the group name so if you hit this one it will open and uh, here you can able to see that particular group id now what i'll do is i'll go back to uh, this office.com and i'll click this app launcher we'll try to open the power apps here i'll create a blank app which is a blank canvas application now i'll just type as a groups and then I'm going to take a tablet format. We'll click create.
Now here, which is an empty Canvas application, we'll try to connect with the Office 365 group. For that, we have to click this Add Data. Now I'll type Office 365, click, select this Office 365 group, and it will establish a connection. So meanwhile, I'll try to insert a data table here. Take this Office 365, but it is not going to display anything here. Now, if you click this edit fields also, you cannot able to get anything. Even you cannot able to add the fields as well. Now, here in the items, what I'll do is now before writing anything, now I'll go back to this tree view and click app launcher. Uh, sorry, click on app and go to unstart event. So in the unstart event, I'm trying to collect. So for that, I'm writing a collection. Then I'll write. Um, a power app group whatever the name you like to give you can give this is a collection name now we'll call this office 365 group connector and which contains a lot of properties if you enter dot you can able to add the member to group you can uh, use the calendar delete an item and event uh, calendar we have uh, http request also we have and we have a property name called list group members and which is asking a group id now i'll take that group id from here and then come back and then take the group id here and then use a comma so it is asking for how many uh, number of top items you want to return but of course uh, we only have two items if you if you enter five six 10, 12 also it will only returns the five items because we only have two items inside that now uh, this is closed properly and uh, we have to close this one as well now we don't have any errors in this formula now when you click this app and we have a property name called run on start when I click this run on start now I'm expecting this collection will fill up with this group so we'll see is that happen or not or you can check it from here as well now when you click this one you can take this power app group and uh, so we have given that and go to edit fields now we have add field concept we only have value but if i click add value which only returns the objects so we have written something wrong here so what we want is we want to get the value which is in a table of values if i take dot and i have this value so now this is closed properly now we'll try to run once again this if you run on start now which is not displaying anything but we can able to change this one so i'm selecting this data table we'll go to this power app group so if i take this one and replace the columns i'm taking and then click edit now click add fields now you can get plenty of uh, uh, you know plenty of uh, fields now i want to take only display name and uh, what i want is i want an email and i don't want the surname we have few so i have i'll take this given name the job title i'll take and uh, i'll take a office location this would be more than enough or if you want to take a user principal name you can take so i'll close this one now you can get this display name email id given name job title and office location and uh, principal name so uh, user principal name uh, this is the data we are getting from office 365 group and if you want to do any filtering on it you can able to do with the filtering as well so for that for example i want to filter this uh, user so for that i can take this uh, text input and here you can remove this text input and you can select this data table so in the instead of taking this one and you can able to use your filter concept here or maybe search concept here whatever you want you can able to do so i'm taking this filter for the source of this and then i want to take a display name filter so i can write uh, something like text input one dot text in display name I'll take display so I'm trying to take this display name uh, in the filter 
so now which is good but if you run this one for example if i want to get the support account i can able to get if i want to get rich and solutions account i can able to get so whatever the filter options we have we can able to do because now the data is not in the office 365 group now the data is in the collection so for example if you want to get uh, the current logged in user is in this group or not you can you can able to use uh, the way whatever you want uh, for example um, here in this data table we have two users and we have logged in with the support account and this account is available here for example i want to write some statement here or maybe i want to put some icon I'll take a circle icon we'll check it out do we have any yeah we have a circle so this circle I'll put this circle here so there is an option called fill and which is filled with a blue color now I'll write a condition here if the current logged in user user card email so which returns the current logged in user one okay so now what i want to write is i want to write in and then so I'm, I'm trying to write uh, either if you want to write this user 365 group you can able to write or we have a collection name called power app group now the power app group contains the collection of emails i think which is not an email which is an email so in this group this user is available now i want to make this as green color or otherwise i want to make this as a red color so now if I close this one now you can able to see the screen color which is coming because this statement is true if I put this one here if I put my mouse over here and which contains this two and inside that one this user is available so that's why which is coming with a green or otherwise it passes a red color so this way not only this way if you want to use some other way also for example based on some controls you want to display or hide the controls based on a logged in user also you can able to check in this manner so now which is passing a green color which means that statement is true so this way you can able to check the current logged in user is available inside a specific group you can able to check so and uh, so what we have passed here in the app start this is most important so this formula will returns the values from the office 365 groups so for that what we have to do is we just need to connect with office 365 groups and we definitely need an id of the group so once you have the id of the group you can able to fetch the users into a collection so once you have the data into a collection you can able to do whatever you want see this is a collection now you got the office 365 group D information here so to get the office 365 group information either you can get this from the uh, thin, uh, from the azure active directory or we have another way also so for that what i'm doing is i'm trying to open this uh, site and uh, i'm trying to go to the permissions of this uh, particular site here i'm going to site permissions and if you click this advanced permission settings here uh, we have an option called grant permission now i have a group name called power app group and i type this power app group okay so we have power app group members but we only have this power app group so which is a power app group members and if i click this show uh, we have two people two people which is correct but I'm trying to give any any of the permissions if I share this one okay I'll refresh it and if I click this power app group members so we have some ID here uh, which is 
something and I'll come back here and we'll, we'll check this formula so this one and this one which is which is bad one F this is bad one F 75 E and the ending with 404083 so this way also if you don't have a rights to access your uh, Azure Active Directory if you have a permission to any of the site you can able to add that particular group and you can get the ID of the group so this way you can able to get the group and you can uh, call that group ID here in the power app to get the information of this office 365 group.